right guys, today I am doing diff bushings on this beautiful E46 M3. It is uh, my old lady's car. It's been having a terrible, terrible clunk. This car she bought sight unseen many years ago, if you guys don't know. She bought it from El Paso when we lived in New Mexico. She's had it for a while, but she daily drives a truck. And we have a daughter that she takes to school every morning, or daycare rather. And this car really doesn't even get driven like ever. As you can tell by the fat ass tire on the back. <laughs> um, <coughs> it sits more than anything these days. Uh, needs some paint work, needs a couple things here and there, but it, it runs, it drives great besides uh, this recent diff issue. So right now, like anytime you give it throttle, you get this huge clunk in the rear. And uh, I guess I could, I could fire it up real quick and show you guys. But uh, it's the bushings up there in the back and the one that keeps it, um, there's like a bolt bushing on the, on the side of it. On the other side, you can't see. This whole diff just like jumps around a whole bunch. So we're just gonna get this old diff out. She's had bushings for it for a while. You can see the subframe bushings are done. We did the, the subframe, um, we welded all the plates on and painted and did all that mumbo jumbo years ago and uh we just didn't do i don't i, don't, I think the diff bushings were on back order or something but they wound up coming later so we didn't get them done when we did the subframe so now they're getting done all right these are pretty much all the tools i use mallet hammer they didn't really need to use this but this did it the most to get the diff or the drive shaft off the diff but if you take the exhaust off that's really not even an issue. You're gonna have to do that anyway. I was just trying to take the, the other way. 12 and 13s along with these other uh, 12 and 13s to get um, these exhaust nuts off. Yours might be different, I don't know. Um, and this long 12 for other exhaust stuff. This guy right here, this 21 for that bracing under the exhaust, sway bar, bushing stuff, the E12 for the axle. And top of the diff, I wound up using this 12.11 um, mil. Works just fine on those. Um, the real king here is the Milwaukee Impact. <laughs> Nothing uh, too, too crazy. Uh, it's a really, really, really nice tool. And then I got my different attachments for the Uniwiggles and whatnot. But this, this tool is really, I mean, even using these kind of like quarter inch adapters, even for half inch stuff. Like I've been using this thing for everything for weeks since I got it. And it is a freaking champion. This thing gets everything. It even uses it even has a drill option. Use it as a drill, as an impact. It's, it's great. I would not recommend doing this job at all with, with straight up hand tools. Um, borrow some tools. Find somebody that's in the military. Go use Auto Hobby. Shot with them where they have tools to rent and a lift to rent. Um, and they probably have the, the bushing kit to use to get bushings out as well. Um, if you're gonna DIY it, that, that's what I recommend. Go out and buy you this guy right here. It is the bomb. Where is the serial number? 25, skirt, 295320. This thing is amazing. All right, so we're up under this bad boy. I don't know if we have these on VWs. We might own some of the older stuff. But I remember having to buy a set of these like reverse torques just for her car. So all of her axle nuts are these E12s. And the same thing is for um, the drive shaft. And then for these back diff bushings, it's those as well, but I don't have any room. I got like less than three fingers, but I found that um, 12 point what size is this 12.11 mil on this nice impact swivel fits perfectly up here and i'm going to use the same swivel and extension to do the drive shaft stuff so i'm going to take off the e-brake the way i can spin the wheels in the drive shaft do the drive shaft first then do the axles on both sides the other side i'm gonna to have to use an extension because the exhaust comes like right by this so i have to go like over top the sway bar into the uh, axle. We'll get the dry shaft, axles, and the dip bushings. And it looks like this thing, um, you got those two there. 
Then you got one, which is the worst one right here. This bushing is the worst one. Um, and it looks like the diff should kind of just like tilt down and kind of just fall down and out. I might have to take off the sway bar bracket here and, and move it out of the way to allow all of this to like move, but seems simple. We'll see if it actually is simple. <laughs> being a BMW and all. But I really, really, really want to go take this thing out for a rip. Here's a nice little visual reference. Yeah, that's how much the diff moves and it's not supposed to. That's me uh, lifting up on the drive shaft here. That's not supposed to happen. The whole diff is... Oh, get back on it. That's not good. <laughs> Here's a quick tip if I can zoom in on it. So I'm over here towards the passenger side of the car. Okay, right there on the drive shaft, you can kind of see that lip. The lip right in the middle of the screen. There's a lip on um, both sides of the drive shaft. So come in, see if I can zoom all the way out from over here. Get up in there with the flathead and give it a couple taps. And the drive shaft finally came off the diff. Let's see here where it's split there you, go. you can kind of see that divot better a couple taps right there on both sides i just can give it a couple taps here spin it 180 another couple taps here and it popped right off so now it's got this one last axle side again we'll back out i'm going to go above the sway bar to get to them and then after that's just the two on the back and then maybe we'll see if we have to do this sway bar or not bit of an update here if you guys have seen other videos like i had to look i had to undo all these exhaust bolts here they were 12 and 13 millimeter rusted to hell um this is where the mid mid pipes connect to i guess the rest yeah. of the cat pack cat back and then now i'm getting this bar that goes across Let's see if i can zoom in here i got that middle one still undid the one over there i have the muffler on stands so it doesn't just fall to the ground. Once that's out of the way, that's what's really holding the diff up. Like over here on the diff, you can see right, zoom back out. You know, the diff right here is sitting on the exhaust. And there was no way around that. I thought it was the sway bar in a way, but it was the exhaust. So then we got all, all the, ah, I believe there were 12 millimeters. There's a bunch of them. Four on this side, two on the other side, and uh, now we'll we'll get this exhaust down, slide that out of the way, and then this diff should come right on out. Then we'll get to the bushings, and uh, we're gonna need new gaskets and new hardware. Hopefully, we can find some locally. I don't think they're anything too too special. Hardware, I think I remember when we put this cat back on. No, because these are like the special locking ones. So I'm going to try and find some locally or if they're cheap enough from FCP. We'll go ahead and order them there. Because um, I don't want... I could use like lock nuts or something. Like, I don't think I can get these type locally though. I don't know. We'll see. He's finally out. <sighs> Look at this unit. I really thought... That the bolt that went in here that the bushing would be attached sorry to the diff but i guess it's up in the in the subframe up in there so that's the one i we need to replace the most but uh i don't want to knock these i thought these would fall right out with as much you know stuff that they've been having to deal with with that other one bad but we'll get those out that'll be that'll be a fun fun time here shortly this exhaust so heavy i forget what brand she has please ignore my mess my neighbor's trees here are just god awful um yeah, it looks pretty sick but it is extremely heavy it's crazy it sounds really good though really wanted to get back up and drive this thing today but unless i can find some of these gaskets local but hopefully we can get this back in the day before it starts
So here I am about a week later, going to replace this uh, diff cover because it cracked getting this ear bushing out. So we got a brand new one with fluid and uh, some sealant. So that's today's morning project. And here we are inside. Looks pretty, uh, pretty clean to me. It's a nice unit for over 150,000 miles on it. All right, got the new cover on. Got the bushings out. Just used a huge socket and just hammered them out. Came out super easy since this unit's brand new. Now we're gonna go get our new bushings, throw those in real quick, and then let the sealant sit for a day and uh, salt this bad boy tomorrow. One last look before she goes back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The diff is back in, axles connected, exhaust on, pretty simple stuff. Put the car on the ground, start her up. We don't have any taillights right now, so we can't go for a drive, but the new taillights come in today, and uh, we'll get those on, and we can finally drive this thing without a floppy-ass diff. I'm so excited to hear this thing.